So last time we looked at creating the structural channel as a custom member in AutoCAD's MEP or AutoCAD Architecture 2013. This time we're going to look at brackets. And um, the what I've got in here is a 3D object that I've actually created as a block. The problem with the block is it won't actually anchor against the actual structural member. So when the member moves, it updates. To do that, we'll make it an MV uh, block. So to do that, we go to Manage and Style Manager. And under multi-purpose objects in here, you'll see your multi-view block definitions. Now, if we're going to simply create this by right-clicking and going new. You would give it a logical name. I'm going to say bracket um, 125. And on the brackets, on the settings, on the view blocks, this is the appearance of it, how it will look in different views. Now, I'm going to simply just customize it under model. And I'm going to add the block in, and you'll see our bracket listed. That's because I've created it as a normal AutoCAD block. I hit OK. And we simply tick what directions we want to have this in. Sometimes the models can be very heavy ended and uh, we can have a different display in a top or a left or a right elevation. In this case, I'm happy enough. I'm going to keep it as that. I'm not going to have it as an interference block. And I'm going to simply hit apply and OK. Um, my original normal block I can get rid of. Uh, to add this block in, so it's uh, MV block add. Again, you can set this up in your tool palette, etc. in here, so we can go to MV block add, and you can see there's my part. So I've got the right insertion point. I'm simply going to go, I'm going to use nearest in this case, and I'm going to hook it onto the outside here. Just going to move that out 3 mil. That was the thickness of the, of the bracket. And I'm going to copy a couple instances across. Uh, the advantage to using this method is we can use the anchor tool. Now the anchor tool is available in AutoCAD MEP and AutoCAD Architecture. So I type in anchor in the command line. And what we can do in here is we can anchor by object. So we select the objects to be anchored. In this case are three brackets. We hit enter and the object it needs to be anchored to, i.e. the structural member. And simply hit enter. This means now if I move the structural member use the grip edit, the brackets actually come with it. You'll notice that the miter is still maintained as well again because that's a structural member. So again if we move it, the brackets will actually come with it. To simply release the anchor, you can hover over the object, pick it up and then break the anchor. That just simply releases it. So again if I just use my normal move command here, you can see that one's detached. Just be careful because using the normal move rather than the grip edit can sometimes break the actual miter in the corner. So let's use the grip edit. And again, those two are attached and that one's detached. Thanks for listening.